In Manassas Park, Virginia, we find one elementary school and a group of architects that are taking the lead in sustainable design that integrates eco-friendly approaches, both in the classroom and throughout the exterior of the building. Um, there's stone dust here in the middle. Well, the, the highest and best hope we have from this school is that graduates from this school will be ecological stewards. One of the premises of um, our design for this school is that we can't expect our students, our graduates, to conserve and protect something, the environment, that they don't understand. And so we've gone out of our way to integrate the local flora and fauna and the environment here. The school boasts many new exciting green techniques, such as a rainwater harvesting system, which has proven to allow the school to use 670% less water in the past 10 months than the neighboring Cougar Elementary. We have a rainwater collection system, which is what we're standing on top of. This will hold 79,000 gallons worth of water. Every single bit of roof from the Nassus Park Elementary and the pre-K drains down into this building. It goes through a series of filters. You can see some of the, the downspouts on the building. They come down to a pipe. There's a big bay saver filter um, access to a manhole and then it comes into this cistern. This water is then used um, to flush all of the toilets in the building and to do all the irrigation around. The opposite side of the building boasts an outdoor classroom which also acts as a stormwater bioretention facility. Geothermal wells are housed underneath playing fields and maintain a temperature that is perfect for providing heating and cooling to each individual classroom. One of the things I'm most proud of that we've done in the school is what we call green light mode. Um, sensors uh, monitor the outside con air conditions, both for humidity and temperature. And when they're ideal, there's lights in the hallways that come on. And when that green light comes on, and there's some signage that describes this, it tells the occupants of the building, particularly the children, that it's a good time to open the windows. Naturally lit classrooms not only increase student achievement, they also drastically cut down the amount of wasted energy. The entire school is strategically transparent for this reason, but also so that students feel like they are outdoors and in turn gain appreciation for everything around them. You walk into to any room, any space in this building, and you have natural light. And what that does to your, your attitude, your morale, your, um, I think just your excitement about what you're doing is you, you feel like you are outside um, almost all the time. And, and so that seamless transition almost be between inside and outside does have a huge impact. White acoustical ceilings slope downward to reflect more ambient light. The same idea is used in corridors of the building with mirrors that reflect the sunlight. When lights are needed, photo sensors on fluorescent fixtures automatically dim to adjust to changing exterior light conditions. Another attempt at achieving good indoor environmental quality can be seen in the building's high performance flooring tiles. They never require stripping, waxing, or polishing and are applied with a non-toxic adhesive. I would like very much for all of our students to, to become stewards of the environment and I think it's very important that um, we have this, this wonderful green building here and I think there's, there's obviously the impacts of, of less energy used and, and, and so on but I think where we truly harness the power of the school is when we arm and prepare our students to make those responsible choices outside of their school life. Green schools as their first priority really should look at indoor air quality, um, low VOCs, no formaldehyde, to making sure that the environment that our children learn in is as healthy as possible. Um, and I don't think a lot of people would argue against that.